Lisa from Lisa Canning Interiors and today we're going to talk about five easy ways to update your kitchen. I've just finished a really really fun kitchen project renovation with the beautiful Jen Pipe. If you don't know her you should check her out. She's a nutritionist and she can really help you live your most healthy life. And we created her kitchen as part of the Simplicity Kitchen, a series that she has that she films in her home studio. And I, uh, I personally think the results are pretty beautiful. And there are some things I think you can take with you to create some easy updates in your kitchen. The first way to create an easy update in your kitchen is by swapping out an appliance or your faucet. Jen had some products in her kitchen that were working really well for her family, but her dishwasher and her faucet had seen better days. So we went with a Delta faucet that's got great touchless technology, so you just tap on it and um, the water starts flowing, no need to worry about you know messy hands covered in chicken or whatever when you need to wash your hands or um, you know do something else. And then we replaced her dishwasher with a Whirlpool model that's super efficient on energy and makes it really easy for her to get back to caring for her family after she's done the dishes. So by changing out an appliance or your faucet, those are fairly easy ways because you're just removing and replacing something in the exact same spot. So that can gain you a really easy win in the kitchen. The second way to create an easy update is to add a rustic touch. This rustic farmhouse, things that look like they've been you know, handmade or been there for like a hundred years is a really popular trend that is not going anywhere fast in my opinion. We created a bit of a rustic update with her beautiful dining table, which we sourced from Artumano, and with her um, floors that are um, this very hand-scraped um, hand scraped hardwood floor from Torley's. Um, certainly floors are not as easy of a way to update uh, your kitchen, but like we did in the Artumano dining table um, and uh, the light fixtures, which are also Artumano, they, they've got this handmade quality. Um, they have been made by an artisan. Um, and I think that in, especially in the dining table or on your floors, it's a very, really nice place to have um, you know, that feeling that they've been there forever, that there's a story to be told. So adding rustic elements is a really great way to create an update in your kitchen. The third way to create an easy update in your kitchen is to change your backsplash. So yes, this is another one that does require some construction, some mess. So yes, it's not super easy like changing out your dining table. However, I argue that you should really consider it because it is such a huge visual win. Jen's former kitchen was dreary. It was really dark. There wasn't any texture. We put in this beautiful backsplash from Earth Covering. So it's got all this dynamic uh, but subtle texture. It's a natural stone and it really is a big highlight in this space. Um, another tip for creating a huge visual win is to take your backsplash and not just go to the you know first floating shelf or to the first upper cabinet, take it all the way to the ceiling if you can, if your budget allows, uh, to get the biggest visual win possible. And the fourth way to create an easy update in your kitchen is to add some color. Now, we did this in paint and we did this in accessories. Um, we did a neutral Benjamin Moore color, which I know I'm like, I add color, but it's a neutral. Sometimes sticking with a neutral paint is your best thing to do because it will allow the other elements in the space to shine um, and allow you know the paint really to be more of a backdrop. Um, to allow other things to move to the forefront, like the accessories, which we sourced from HomeSense. We went with corals, oranges, teals to add a really dynamic pop in the accessories. Um, and you can do this in linens and rugs and you know small vases and decorative items. And a quick tip about adding color in a space, you wanna make sure that you repeat it at least three times so that you've got a little bit of visual continuity around the entire space. And the fifth way to create an easy update in your kitchen is to change your cabinet hardware. And this one, I'm not talking about the outside, although that is a great way 
to update your kitchen. I'm actually talking about the interior cabinet hardware that you would find on your door hinges and on your drawers. Um, so when a client doesn't want to um, you know, rip out the entire kitchen, uh, but want some kind of an update, I always recommend we go with quiet close hinges and we use them from Grass Canada. Now, let me tell you why this is so important. <laughs> I love obviously a aesthetic visual win. It is my business. Aesthetic visual wins is why I go to work every day. However, I also love wins that are functional. I would say that whenever I can, I'm looking for ways to improve a family's way of life uh, by giving them even better function. And quiet clothes hardware is so beautiful. It's just a little bit more elegant. You don't have slamming doors, sticking drawers. Um, trust me when I say it makes a difference and it's always worth it to go with the quiet clothes um, interior cabinet hardware. So those are my five tips on creating easy updates in your kitchen. If you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe and drop me a note in the comments below. Let me know what updates you make to your kitchen or where you're struggling. And you can learn more about me and my approach to interior design, family life, work-life balance, and productivity over at lisacanning.ca.